Hey friendlies, in today's video I have a fun little trip for you down memory lane. I made it to New York and made it to my mom's house finally and I put together some footage. Some of it was actually shot last year and I never made it into a video so it's a little bit of just a lot of memory lane, a lot of things from my childhood that I thought you might enjoy seeing. Also, my calendars are now on pre-sale, so check the video description below for a link to purchase your 2023 Carolyn's RV Life Adventure Calendar, and you're going to save $3 when you pre-order, so all the information will be uh, in on my website, and click on the link below to find out more and to order your calendar. And please do me a favor, check your subscription right now to make sure you're still subscribed to my channel. Even if you think you're subscribed, people constantly get unsubscribed. So please subscribe to my channel and let's go to New York. Okay, we're stopping at a cute little Pennsylvania gift shop. At least I think it's gonna be cute. Got that smile upon my face. I'm not digging all this driving chase, this at all. She doesn't like all the bumps. Yeah, I'm going for the ride. Look at that. It looks cute, right? Still I run towards the wind and let the challenge draw me in because I want more. Oh, we are all looking for adventure. YouTube channel, do you mind? I have a travel YouTube channel and I like to show people the places that I go, so are you okay with that? Yeah. absolutely and that's one of the things i love about the my travel is i like to go to the more out of the way places and uh -huh. and, and especially showcase small businesses oh, cool. yeah yeah pumpkin is half the reason most people come in here oh <laughs> well we should take video of pumpkin i know normally he's i don't know what he's doing today i love the bigfoot i <laughs> collect bigfoot stuff oh yeah there was a bigfoot What? Really? Yeah, it was uh, with the UTVs. Uh, they did a ride, you know, uh -huh. they were looking for them, and they had different photo op things. Oh, and, wow. Uh, oh, how fun. Have you ever yeah. seen one? No. <laughs> I love little stores like this out of the way that have unique things. Sometimes you see the same old things, but I like finding the unique things. Cool little store. Be happy. I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. I might have to change my tagline to make it bees friendly. Ooh, Mary Ooh Mary. local jams and jellies. And Barry. Oh my gosh, it's from Oregon. <laughs> All right, well, I can get it when I go to Oregon. <laughs> So this is your official greeter usually. Oh, hi. Oh, my gosh. Hi, pumpkin. I see why they named you pumpkin. <laughs> or you grew into it. <laughs> what a cutie pie. Say hi, pumpkin. <laughs> You're a cutie pie. Look at it. Hi. Well, that was fun. I got a couple candles. And, uh... Sasquatch socks, which I'm going to give away to one of you. I'm going to give one of you away a pair of Sasquatch socks <laughs> from Pennsylvania. You know what? I will save them for my Christmas giveaways. How's that? I'll show them to you here in a minute. I get, look at that. Sasquatch socks. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? So I'm going to save those and I'll give them away for Christmas and uh, it'll give the trolls something else to talk about. They had a... They, they had a ball over my sock giveaway from the hike I did. Let me see this sticker. Oh my goodness. Ow. Ooh, that's it. I believe I got every state line sign. Every, every new state sign as I crossed. Creamery and Candyland. I am tired. I have a headache. I look forward to relaxing. 
relaxing. So I'm just gonna head straight to my mom's. Thanks for hanging out with me for the road trip east 2022, Carolyn's RV Life Road Trip 2022. I've been back so I think I'm gonna take a ride down memory lane and go see a few sites I think I'll start with my high school <laughs> town of Shenango oh my gosh I bet it's changed a lot I have no idea where I am none of this looks familiar it should look familiar Nothing looks familiar. I think I might know where I am though. Wow. I think I know where I am. I think there used to be a store in there that I'd ride my bike to when I started earning babysitting money to buy clothes. I think. Check this out. They stole my phrase. Look it. Be bold, be strong, be well. I saw be free and be kind and be brave they, didn't, they don't say be happy <laughs> look at that come back home and somebody stole my catchphrase I'm joking of course it's kind of cool though huh nothing looks familiar not a darn thing The whole complex here has changed so much. They added an elementary school over there. They added uh, a whole bunch of stuff. But here's my high school. Here's the front of the high school. Oh, can I drive over there? And there's a football game going on. Teachers. I can't let it play for copyright issues. But uh, just pulled into my school and Alice Cooper's School's Out's playing, which was my anthem in 12th grade. <laughs> yeah. How weird, though. I pull in and that song comes on the radio. All right, we're going to go looking around. This right here is the room where I had in-school suspension. Oh, I can't peek inside. I got busted for pot in ninth grade. I had in-school suspension right there. It was at the end of the year, though, so I had, like, Two school, two days of in-school suspension in ninth grade, and then the first three days of tenth grade, I had in-school suspension and a bunch of detention. Yeah, wow. All that is new. That's all the new elementary school. It used to be a field with just woods in the back. We'd all sit in the back against the woods in a circle and smoke our cigarettes. <laughs> and somewhere down here. Looks like it's gone. There was a little, maybe that down there, a wooded area with a big tree where we'd smoke cigarettes after. Yeah, this was all wooded. Hey, Sadie, come on. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, I think this was all wooded. It looks like they probably cleared it out because kids were smoking and doing whatever in there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Ugh, I remember this track. Ugh. <laughs> My 
My second job. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, this booth right here. It's where the owner would sit and watch us and scream at us from across the dining room. Oh my God, wow. Look at the chandelier, I don't know if you'll be able to see, see it. Look at that. Not, not much has changed. Wow. Oh my God. I should call the realtor. Pretend I'm interested, get a walk through. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, some bad memories. Some, a lot of memories here. Wow. It was a typical uh, Greek restaurant we had around here. Really good baked goods. <laughs> diner. Greek diner, I guess. Wow. Had my first marriage proposal from a guy I met here. This book from Greek. From Greece, barely spoke English. <laughs> That's not true. He spoke good enough English to make me not want to marry him. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Drove a really nice white Trans Am. Yeah. He was a Coke dealer. <laughs> Another childhood favorite. I'm gonna go get a donut. I'm gonna get a donut. Isn't that pretty? Okay. I think I used to get this color. Oh, but not with my cheese. Me and Carol would come here for a little playhouse. Which is in the back. That's actually really good. The Endicott Cider Mill has a long history of making fresh pressed cider from area apples. They also have a bunch of other treats. Yeah, that's what I remember. It's so weird that I came back and I expected to recognize stuff. A lot changes after 40 years. And even if things were the same, you know, it's 40 years of wear and tear and dilapidation. It's just weird. Nothing's the same. Hmm. Any older people can relate to this? Feeling like, I just want things to be the same? I don't know. Mom. Genetic technology. That's sad. Wow. That's new, I think. I think. More American flags and posted signs than I remember. No trespassing.
to realize how run down everything is, you know? I mean, it's been 50 years, 40 years. Wow, I'm old. <laughs> but yeah, you know, things are a lot more run down. All the nice houses back in the day aren't so nice anymore. They look a little more old, they look older and more run down. There was an old, uh, I wonder if it's still down there. There was an old abandoned house. I think that's it down there. On a creek, it was beautiful. Even back then, I dreamed of living there. <laughs> Crazy. We feel like a much more closed off. Yeah, that's what it feels like, more closed off in some weird way. Of course, I'm, I'm an outsider now, but I might just be imagining, but it, we're just, yeah, feeling a collective thing, you know? So this was ours on the left. That bed, that third window up there, right there, was my bedroom. And this was a whole other rental. I wonder if it's empty. Our old mailboxes. <laughs> over there, you see all that? That just used to be a cow pasture and a cornfield. They put a neighborhood over there. What are you doing with it? You gonna go bury it? You gonna go bury a bully stick? You gonna go bury it? Okay, go ahead, go bury it. Going to get my brakes checked this morning, my oil changed, so this is why it's important to keep records. I was looking through my records, so I thought my brakes started, my front brakes started feeling soft. I didn't remember the last time I got them done. I thought it was like four years ago. Looking through my records, I got them done just like a, a year and a half ago. <laughs> so they probably don't need to be done. Um, so anyway, yeah, getting an oil changed. I'll have them look at things. You know, I'm in New York, so uh, I'm due for an oil change. And I found a commercial truck place that'll take me in. So I decided to go ahead and keep the appointment and uh, just get things checked out. In 600 feet, your destination will be on the right. There we go, we're there. Oh, look at that. Big trucks. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's the entrance? Awesome, they took me right in as soon as I got here, pretty much. They said the guy had to come back to get parts, but so they got me right in. Well, my front brakes are fine, just like I thought, but I do have an oil leak. So wow. I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on that. Look at that. <sighs> I wonder if that's one of the originals. Started in Binghamton. a cool little vegan spot right here in my old hometown it's called Parlor City Vegan so let's go check it out excellent reviews excellent reviews on Happy Cow uh, oh no oh I thought they weren't open I was gonna be very upset hello good how are you okay I'll take a pumpkin cake anyway I brought Sadie with me. I'm in my mother's car and I uh, forgot to grab, I didn't even grab a leash. And we've been running around running errands. So I ordered a, um, what did I order? Caesar salad. Vegan Caesar salads can be very, very good. Um, and uh, poutine, buffalo poutine, which sounds really good. Vegan mac and cheese over french fries, really bad, with buffalo sauce. It's like their house specialty. So, I'll probably just eat it in the car because I'm going to want to eat it hot before it gets too soggy. So I'll probably just eat it in the car with Sadie. <laughs> it's going to, they said it's going to be about 20 minutes. So I figured I'd let her run a little bit. It's kind of a treat being able to run errands in a car instead of my giant RV. Especially putt putting around my old hometown. Hey! <laughs> trains everywhere I go. If somebody wants to invent something, I have all kinds of great ideas. I just don't have the energy or the time to execute them. Oh, look at this. Goes in. Oh, look at an arm. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh, that's freaky, man. 
There's never been a subway here, so I have no idea. It just goes under. Katie, okay, stay here. But if you need a hand, I can bring this. I can send this to you. Do you need a hand? <laughs> oh my gosh, did I catch that on film? She just climbed that wall. Look it. Come here. Look it. <laughs> she just scaled that wall. She, oh shit. Sadie girl, look. She's just climbing all over the place. <laughs> you see her? Hey, you want to climb the tree? She's like, oh my gosh. I might be able to climb this tree. I see what it is now. It used to be a tunnel to go under the railroad tracks over to, to Gerard Avenue. <gasps> yeah, I'm quick. I'm so smart. Anyway, a great idea if there are any inventors out there. They need to make a collar with a retractable leash. Shouldn't be that hard, right? I mean, just put a thin leash inside the collar. So in a, in a you know, nothing that you're going to use on a regular basis necessarily, or you could. But, I mean, she's got a, like a leather collar on. You could very easily make even like a nylon collar with a leash wrapped around it that you just pull out when you need it. Why hasn't anybody thought of that? It's freaking brilliant. You can have it. <laughs> it's brilliant. You, you can pay me royalties if you want. <laughs> Sadie running around my old stomping grounds. I used to live a few blocks from here. Come on! My first apartment. No, my second apartment. My first apartment in New York, actually. My first apartment in Binghamton, 22 Field Street. <laughs> wow. I lived up there. Right there. That was my living room window. Wow. They had a local kombucha. Only six grams of sugar. Nice. That is very, very good. Very good. It's nice and light. It's not too sweet. It comes from Drums, Pennsylvania. Botch Farm. Hashtag Botch Farm. No, Botch Fam. Counter Park Kombucha. Oh my gosh, it's very good. They have all kinds of flavors. But I don't like fruity. I usually just prefer ginger, but cranberry ginger, it's very good. They could still put more ginger flavor in it. They never have enough ginger flavor for me. In my humble opinion, it could use more ginger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. <laughs> this Sadie girl is salivating. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've been craving really bad junk food, like McDonald's and stuff, so this is a good... Mm. Oh my God. I can't ask if it was gluten-free. Oh, I bet it's not. The noodles taste too good to be gluten-free. Gluten-free pasta is often just mushy. Mm. So driving across country, you know, I see McDonald's and Dunkin' Donuts. I think I mentioned this recently. And it's so tempting. But I keep telling myself, no, you know, it'll just make you feel bad. So this is a good compromise, you know. You can get healthy-ish junk food. Ish. Very ish. What are you doing? What are you doing? You won't eat french fries. Here, you want some? Take it. Oh, you're not gonna eat it. Okay. <laughs>